everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what is in my kids' stockings and stocking stuffer ideas for you guys. First, I have to apologize, it's nighttime. I'm solo parenting tonight. We've got the kids in bed. Bit of a hot mess, so uh, bear with me. Um, I really need to wash my hair. Mom life. I always forget to do this bit, so for those of you who are new, hello, my name is Rainbow. I have a seven year old daughter and a three and a half year old son. So if you watched yesterday's vlog style vlog, then you saw that Cody and I went and picked up all the stocking stuff for goodies. We shopped at Dollar Tree, Dollarama, and Walmart. Um, and we'll, honestly, we are probably going to pick a couple of things up as we go. I am a notorious stocking overstuffer. It's just what I do. I was raised with really huge stockings, um, so I'm probably going to make bigger ones. It's just, I can't get out of the habit. We'll probably pick up things here and there, but now we're like, everything's done and it's just kind of when we're out, if we see something we'd want to throw in, we might buy it, that kind of that kind of thing. Just easy little stuff like that. Like there's a pack of those little, I think it's like ECOS brand, little lip balms that are organic. Probably pick up a couple of those and put them in their stockings because my kids love lip balm. All right, let's get started. I'm going to start with my daughter because just because she's oldest. So if you know me and you've seen my last couple of stocking stuffer videos, you know I have a thing for cups and stockings. Weird, just a little tradition. Another little tradition we do is I always put an orange in the foot of the stocking. I think that's just like German roots kind of thing. Let me know if you guys put an orange in your stocking. That's always been a tradition of mine to have an orange in the foot of your stocking. Um, I just think it's, I don't, I don't know, I just do it. I think that's how it was for me growing up and so it's just something I've carried on. So yes, a cup. So for my daughter, I got her these this little princessy cup. She's not super into princesses, but she does like some of them. So since this has a few of them, um, I think she'll like this. They really like these plastic tumble cups because I let them take them away from the table because I know they're not going to be broken. So they appreciate these and so do I. And that was from Dollarama. I'll try and tell you where everything was from. Most of the stuff was from the dollar store actually this year. Um, kind of in the cup category, I found these at Walmart. They were two bucks flat. I love these because we go through a lot of water bottles and we're it's hard to find the perfect water bottle for your kids and I like that it's not a screw top, it's a, just a pop top and there's nothing they can bite and it's not going to spill everywhere when they try and unscrew it. Um, so I picked up this little Winter Magic Unicorn one and it's purple which is her favorite color so I think she'll like this. So I just put two cups in there because when you already have one, why not put two? The next thing I picked up from the dollar store, I think this is Dollar Tree, was this little puzzle. And it's just like a mini 50 piece puzzle. Again, it's princesses. I don't normally buy her all the like typical girly princess crap, but they didn't really have any other options. Options. It was like just superheroes um, and none of the ones that she likes or princesses or Minnie Mouse, which she really despises Minnie Mouse. So princesses it was. So for stockings, I try and keep it a little more practical with a little bit of fun bits in it. Um, I grew up with just random hygiene products and stuff in my stocking and I think my husband did too and I think that's how a lot of people do their stockings so I found this little puppy dog loofah and I think she'll love it because she loves puppies so I'm gonna put that in there. Another thing that always goes into our stockings is some sort of socks and my kids really like fuzzy socks this is really the only time of year I buy them so this is from the Dollarama and their little ladybug socks because she's really into that Netflix show like the French Ladybug show. Superhero girl, if you know what I'm talking about, then that's why she likes Ladybugs. I feel like everybody puts these in their kids' stockings, but I picked up this little chocolate candy cane, and this one has M&Ms in it. Um, my kids are not a big fan of Skittles, so we go chocolate. And that was from Dollar Tree, as well as this little notebook. Again, not many options, so I just picked up the princess one. She'll be happy with it because she doesn't really care what's on the cover. Um, I was kind of surprised there weren't like little animals or something alternative to princesses and superheroes this year. But they love notebooks. They go through a million notebook notebooks, so this is always a must in their stockings. To go with that, I picked up this cute little pen. It has little beads on it, and it's a cute little clicky pen I think she'll love. She loves... She's like, Mommy, she loves her stationery. <laughs> so I think she'll really like this cute little beaded pen. Hopefully it's not annoying to write with, but I think she'll like it. Next, I just picked up some little barrettes and their little floral 
ones. I think I got this from the Dollar Tree as well. Uh, she's got she's growing out her bangs right now, so they really get in her way. So I thought this was perfect to add to her collection because she's always losing them. <laughs> Again with the socks, I just saw these and I thought she would really like them. Again from Dollar Tree, they're these little Paw Patrol Sky socks and um, little Tsum Tsum socks. And I think they'll fit her because I think they're stretchy. She's got, she's kind of in between sizes for kid socks. So hopefully it's a fit. But I thought they were really cute and they were like a buck a pair. So if you're not new here, then you probably know my daughter's really into Barbies. And so I saw this and they don't really make toddler and baby Barbies anymore. They're starting to very slowly. Um, but she's always on the hunt for them. So this is kind of creepy and weird. So we'll see if she likes it. <laughs> I'm sure she'll, she'll, she's the kind of kid that will be grateful for it. But I We'll see if, if she actually thinks it's cute. Um, but it's just, just this little like fairy toddler. It's like a little creepy, but I think it's just on the line where it can be fine. Um, but it's violet, her favorite color, so I think she'll like this. Another product I always put in our stockings are toothbrushes. So I got her this purple Tangled toothbrush because she really likes Tangled. And just a refill on her Tom's toothpaste. Next, for the kind of treat and candy-ish bit, she's really into gum right now, so I got her a pack of cheesy fruit because she doesn't like any menthol or minty flavors, so they didn't actually have very many fruity flavors, so that was weird. Um, by the way, toothbrush and toothpaste was from Walmart, can't get it at the dollar store. This was also from Walmart, they are a dollar, um, they're these little milk chocolate Santa lollies, and I always put these in their stocking, it's just become a little thing I always have in there just because I think they're really cute and the kids love them and it's not gross chocolate which is a bonus the next thing is a kinder surprise pack now this was a pack of four I just split it in half and put two in each kid's stocking so this is just the kinder express and it comes with two eggs so they love kinder surprises and the last thing I have for her in her stocking is a Pez which is tangled and um, just a little refill. So these are both from um, Dollarama and the prices are right on there. So so that's everything I got for her stocking and it's not, it's kind of mirrored for my son but different things. Um, again, like I said, I'll probably end up picking a few other things up but there's nothing I have planned. So it's going to be a thing where like if I see it and I think that's a good item to put in there or they need it, then I'll add that to the pile. Okay, so let's get started for my son, who is three and a half, again with the cups. We got him a little Ninja Turtle one because he is super into Ninja Turtles, like super into Ninja Turtles. He'll really like that one. Um, and then I got him the water bottle from Walmart and they didn't really have any, they had a lot of emoji versions, which my kids really aren't into, but I found this cute little penguin one this little winter scene and I think he'll really like this. I also got him a puzzle and it's just a Spider-Man 50 piece puzzle. I thought these were perfect because they fit right into the stockings. Um, these were from Dollar Tree again. My kids love puzzles and I think it's a fun activity to do even to just tuck into my purse when we go to a restaurant or something and just pull out and let them be busy building a puzzle. <laughs> Next is this little Star Wars notebook, which he, this year, just started being super into notebooks as well. Loves Star Wars, takes after his dad, and we all like Star Wars, but especially his dad. Um, so I think he'll really like this. And then to go with that, um, a little Ninja Turtle pen. And these are one of the, is it five? Six. This six color pen, so you just push down the little bit and it will change the color. Unfortunately, I couldn't find another pen like this at all in the store. I think this was even the last one in Dollar Tree. I couldn't find um, something other than Ninja Turtles or any other one for my daughter in general, but I think hers is cute and special, so she won't really care. Next, I got him this cute little minion like clip chain. We, he might end up cutting that off, or he might like clipping it to things. I don't know. He's really into minions and he had asked randomly and I remembered when I saw this for a minion he could play with and so I thought that was cute and this came from Dollarama. From Dollar Tree, which is where my daughter's loofah was from as well, we got him this little loof loofah and it's just a Leonardo Ninja Turtle one and then with more Ninja Turtles because he's really into Ninja Turtles. My husband saw these when we were shopping at Dollar Tree and they're keychains but I think he'll probably end up just pulling the keychain bit off like my husband. And we picked up these two little Ninja Turtles because my son is, and my daughter are both really into little figures, little people that they can play with. For my son's fuzzy Christmas socks, these were a 
Dollarama. Yeah, Dollarama. And they were these cute little ones. I like that they have grippies. They're kid size and they're so fuzzy inside. I was actually really surprised by the Dollarama sock collection because usually I go to Walmart or something and I pay like five bucks a pair of socks. And this was three, so it was definitely cheaper, but I genuinely loved the selection and I think he'll love these. He was complaining the other day that his socks didn't, his fuzzy socks didn't have grippies on them and so they were very slippery and these ones have grippies. And then on the topic of socks, like I got my daughter two pairs at Dollar Tree. I got him this little pair of Minions, Minion socks and Darth Vader. I think he'll really like both of those. And then for candy, it's just pretty mirrored by from my daughter's selection. So he's got the other half of the little Kinder Surprise train. He's got his candy cane full of M&Ms. Sorry, I just realized I might not be talking very loud, but I'm trying not to wake up my son because he's sleeping in my bed, which is not very far from here. <laughs> um, a Santa Lolly. His Pez. And his Pez refill. And then that is it. I will probably be putting, again, the oranges in the foot of their stockings. I always have Christmas oranges on hand. Um, what else do I put in there? I usually slip a candy cane in there. My kids don't like minty candy canes. Their favorite are the cherry kind. So I'll probably put those in there. And then just as I'm shopping, I'll add lip chaps to both of those. And then as we're shopping, if we see anything that we really want in there or that they need, like a hygiene product like a bubble bath or something like that we'll probably add that to their stocking as well so that is what is in my kids stocking this year that's pretty much the bulk of it that's the gist I hope if you haven't done your Christmas shopping yet that maybe this gave you some um, stocking stuff for inspiration it was all most like most of these things with I think only the water bottle and the toothbrushes and toothpaste were from the dollar store. Oh, I didn't show you my my son's toothpaste and toothbrush because it was hiding under my leg. Um, his toothbrush is just a Batman one and then his little younger version of the Tom's toothpaste in strawberry, strawberry flavor because he cannot stand the mint flavor. But anyway, yeah, I think those were the only things that were from Walmart with a water bottle, toothbrush, and toothpaste. And then everything else was between Dollar Tree and Dollarama. I was really happy. I really like Dollar Tree's selection this Christmas. Um, Dollarama also had some really good stuff, but I find um, it, it could just be wishy-washy depending on location. I have two really big dollar stores near me, which is really really nice. Um, so overall, it was quite cheap to fill these stuff, stockings, which is nice. Because I'm an overstuffer, it just is nice to save money on things. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this just for fun or maybe to get some inspiration for your guys' stockings. Um, we'll see you in my next video. Bye!